Hello. Welcome to Inspirations by Terry. I'm hoping you all are doing well on this beautiful Sunday. Thank you for tuning in. If you are new here to Inspirations by Terry, it is my desire just to inspire you to look to Yahuwah in every situation, in every area of your life. He is well able to help you, to deliver you, to redeem you, and to restore you back to what he intended for you in the first place, right? So, and if you are a returning um, viewer, thank you. I appreciate you guys. And today I want to talk to you guys about um, just taking a break, just taking a break, pausing and praising the Most High Yahuwah. We come to him asking for things and praying for our loved ones who may be sick and praying and, you know, praying for a job opportunity or praying for our finances or praying for um, our marriages, our children, so many different things. But today, I just want to encourage you to take time out of your day, multiple times out of the day, just to praise Yahuwah for being who he is. Just praise him, love on him and worship him. He said that he he um, inhabits the praises of his people. That means that he occupies and he comes and he sits in that place where the praises are going up. He comes and he stays there and he hoovers there. And you know, where any, wherever the most high is, there are blessings. So praise is good. There's, this, there's um, um, a chapter in First Chronicles chapter 16. I'm going to read from one to maybe eight. And it's talking about David and um, how they brought the Ark of the Covenant into the tabernacle. So starting at the first verse, it says, So they brought the Ark of Yah and set it in the midst of the tent, which David had pitched for it. And they offered burnt offerings and peace offerings before Yah. And when David had finished offering the burnt offerings and the peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of Yahuwah. And he distributed to every one of, of Israel, both men and women, to every one a loaf of bread, a, um, a portion of meat, and a cake of raisins. He appoints the Levites to minister before the Ark of, the, of Yahuwah and to celebrate by calling to mind and thanking and praising Yahuwah, um, the Yah of Israel. Asaph, the chief next to him, Zechariah, Jaziel, Shemiramoth, Jehiel, Matthiah, Eliab, and Benaiah, Obadiah, Jeriel, and, and, and those were to play harps and lyrics. Asaph was to sound the cymbals. I mean, they were to play harps and lyres, not the um, harps and lyres, and Asaph was to sound the cymbals. Benaiah and Jahaziel, Jahaziel, the priests were to blow trumpets continually before the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah. Then on that day, David first entrusted Asaph, his brethren, the singing of thanks to Yahuwah as their chief task. That that was going to be their duty from now on, just to sing and, to, and, and worship and play the instruments before Yahuwah, that was going to be their chief task, the Levites, right? Oh, give thanks to Yahuwah, call on his name, make known his, his doings among the peoples. I'm going to read that one more time. Oh, give thanks to Yahuwah, call on his name and make known his doings among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him, meditate on on and talk of all his wondrous works and devoutly devoutly praise them hallelujah i'm going to stop there wow so after they did what they were instructed to do p pitching the ark in the in the in the tent david took a moment just to stop and say let's praise yahuwah for all that he's done you know, I don't know what they went through. Like the story does tells they had to go through a lot to get back the ark. You know, they had to go through so much, but now they had it and they were just giving thanks and praise to the most high Yahuwah for just everything. And they were just bragging on all the ways that he brought them 
and how he accompanied, accompanied them and strengthened them and provided ways for them to get the ark back into their possession. So, you know, when he when he placed it down, he just stopped for a moment and he just like, you know, didn't think of anything else. And he just wanted to worship the most high. And this is what I want to encourage you today is like in the midst of whatever you're going through, in the midst of what you might be trying to get back in your life, you might have lost um, something, you know, you might be in a um, one of your children may be lost or separated from you or you may have lost a job. You may have lost, I don't know what you've lost. It could be anything. Um, but in the middle of whatever it is that you lost, begin to worship Yahuwah just for who he is and begin just to praise him for who he is, what he has done for you in the past, what he intends to do for you in the future. And he will come and sit right there in that situation and you don't even know by the time you leave that situation, whatever it is that you lost. But by the time you leave the praise, your praise, pause, praise break, by the time you exit that thing, he might have restored already the thing that you lost because things happen when we praise the Most High Yah. There's something that takes place in the atmosphere when we praise Yahuwah. And we were commanded to worship him. He loves the praise of his people. All right. So just like, just imagine a businessman, um, the CEO of a company. Oh, before I get into that, to the, to the businessman, just bless y'all. We're, you know, when we're in the middle of whatever it is that we're going through, just to take a moment to stop and lift our hands or close the door wherever we're at and just bow on our knees and lift up our hands and just begin to praise Yahuwah and bless his holy name and just to begin to love on him for whatever he's doing in our lives and just to bow down before him and say, I love you, Yahuwah, I love you. I love you for loving me first. I love you for all the ways that you have helped me. I love you for all the ways that you made. I, I just love you. And thank you. And I love you. I thank you. I worship you. I adore you. And just bless his holy name. In Psalms 119.64, it says that um, the psalmist took seven times out of a day. Seven times out of a day, he paused and he praised the Most High Yah. Seven times, thoughtfully, on purpose. Whatever he was doing, whatever he was going through, he stopped and just said, you know what? I'm just going to give praise to Yahuwah because he deserves it. I'm not asking him for nothing, but he deserves to be praised because he is holy. He is righteous. He is Yahuwah. He cre he's our creator. And right now, we're just going to take time to praise him for who he is in our lives. So this is my little story right here. Imagine a CEO of a large company. You know, he's doing good. He has all these employees and um, you know, everyone's, you know, always giving him accolades and telling him how wonderful they love working for his company. And just imagine this man, this CEO, seven times a day going into his office, closing the door and locking it and kneeling before the most high Yahuwah. And just begins to say, you know, yeah, I thank you for my business. I thank you for the money that you have provided for me. I thank you for the success that you have given me. All these are great and I thank you for them, but I just want to worship you for who you are in my life. And he, that businessman just begins to worship the Most High Yah and begins to bless his name and call upon him seven times a day. Imagine that he does that. Can you imagine his business? Can you imagine him not having to even probably ask Mosai Yahuwah for anything? Because he said in Matthew, um, I believe it's 633. He said in Matthew that if we seek first the kingdom of Yah and all his righteousness, that all those things that we desire will be added unto us. So can you imagine taking seven times out of a day and just praising Yah for who he is, blessing him for what he's done, blessing him for all the ways that he made for you and just worshiping his holy name seven times a day. 
you wouldn't even have to ask for anything because he had he will already provide those things because he said seek ye first him the kingdom and all these things will be added he said that even the the birds of the um the lilies i mean it's the bird the birds the fowls of the air they neither sow nor reap but he arrays them in beauty he provides for them they neither hunger they always have food, they have more than enough, and they, they don't even toil. They don't even have jobs, they don't have nothing. All they depend upon is the Most High Yah, and they are taken care of. This is how faithful Yahuwah is. If he does it for the birds, for some birds, how much more for his children that were created in his image? How much more will he do for us if we would just begin to stop looking at our situation and start facing, I mean, start looking at the, the um, Yah of our situations and telling our Yah how big he is and forget about those little problems that are nothing to him. Just meditate on him and just begin to worship him and to adore him and those situations will be become very, very small because he's a great big, great big Yah and he's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask, think, or imagine. Imagine this it's, it's the same for um, a student. If they're in school and they're struggling and they're in school and they're trying to pass their, te their, their exams and everything, the same with you. Close your door, go into the bathroom, shut the door and call on Yahuwah and begin to praise his holy name. I praise your name and I thank you for bringing back to, to my memory all the things that I study. I thank you for allowing, you know, just begin to praise him for who he is in your life. The same for home moms, stay at home moms that may be frustrated and always being, you know, seeming a mundane thing or whatever. And, you know, feeling like you don't have a break or whatever. Same thing with you. Begin to praise y'all for your home and for your beautiful children and for the things that you do have. Even if you want more things, if you want a new vacuum cleaner and your old one may be busted or whatever, and you might have to use the broom to, to, to sweep up or whatever, but begin to praise y'all and thank him for what you do have. Thank him for the, um, the busted vacuum cleaner or the busted refrigerator, whatever it is, begin to be grateful for where you are and what you have at that moment, at this moment, and take your focus off of everything else and, and put your focus back on Yahuwah and give him the praise and give him the adoration and give him the exaltation that he deserves. He is our Yah. He is our King of Kings. He is our Savior. He's our everything. He is our everything. Praise him. Pause. Hallelujah. And take a praise break and begin to praise the Yah of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahuwah, who is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. And just begin to praise him. Imagine the same thing for the flight attendants who might get sick of their jobs or get sick of, you know, if they begin to take their... Um, Take seven minutes and go into that bathroom and shut the door and just begin to praise Yahuwah and thank him for the opportunity to meet new people. Because can you imagine being a flight attendant and just stuck on them planes all the time? I don't know. I used to want to be a flight attendant years ago. I thought about it, you know, not, not the major, but, you know, I thought about it. But then now I'm thinking about it. I don't know if I could do that, you know, but even them take a moment, take a praise break, go into the bathroom, shut the thing, pull that curtain and just begin to lift your hands and praise the most high Yahuwah brain surgeons. You know, take a praise break and, you know, yeah, I thank you for God in my hands. I thank you for the way that you are instructing me to work on these patients. Everyone, it applies to all of us, the clerks, the salespeople. We would be the secretaries, the, the, the um, truck drivers, the taxi cab drivers. If we would all take seven times out of our day, eight times, nine times, ten times, three times, four times, and just begin to praise Yahuwah for who he is and for who he is and for who he is and for what he's done and for what he's done and for what he's done and for what he is going to do and for what he is going to do and for what he is going to do if we will all do that i promise you we would all be more fruitful 
and productive and have more peaceful days. Because it's hard to be angry and it's hard to be worried when you're praising. You can't do them both at the same time. So if we're spending more time praising Yahoo, I bet you any money that your days will be more peaceful. And if we took time to praise him throughout the day, we would all benefit. We would all benefit greatly from taking praise breaks. All of us. So that's the, that's the word I wanted to share with you today. Don't neglect or, t- or fail to take and make time for Yahuwah. Pause throughout your day and take a praise break and begin to worship the Most High Yahuwah. He deserves it. Okay, be blessed. And until our next video, I'll see you then. Okay, be encouraged, y'all. Bye.